Hello my dear friends we are in the series on pro life and today i would like to share with you the fullness of life that our lord jesus himself is inviting us and in the very gospel of john chapter 10 verse 10 we read i came that you might have life and have it abundantly the fullness of life that jesus is proposing us to to live a worthy life and in this pro life series we are not only learning life that we see in existence with flesh and blood also the life that is more than this flesh and blood namely fullness of life that i would like to speak with you my dear friends saint francis de sales speaks of three kinds of life that every human person has namely he speaks of life of the body life of the soul and he says newly the life of the name of the person we know that every person is combined with body soul and spirit body soul they are specially unique for every person but the spirit is one and the same spirit of god who lives in each one of us but what is that name and i also would like to share it is also very clear in the word of god that we see these three life that saint francis de sales is speaking my dear friends when we understand the concept we would see how we can go deeper in our own pro life values and how we can be practically pro life persons life oriented persons and we see in the gospel of saint matthew where our lord jesus is telling and do not be afraid of those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul rather be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in gehenna and this is very clear how the body and soul they are different but in one person and we need to value the soul more than the body so we see existence of body and soul clearly and in the first letter of saint paul to the corinthians we see that do you not know that your body is the temple of the holy spirit within you whom you have from god and that you are not your own and he sees how even the body is also to be valued because it is the temple of the holy spirit and then we see the name when we speak of the name i just want to read the gospel of matthew chapter 5 verse 21 and 22 you have heard that it was said to your ancestors you shall not kill and whoever kills will be liable to judgment but i say to you whoever is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment and whoever says to his brother raka will be answerable to the sanhedrin and whoever says you fool will be liable to fiery gehenna and he clearly says my dear friend jesus clearly says here even when i call someone as a fool or some abusive term that is equal to a murder means to say that killing of the name is also something serious so here we see indirectly how there is life in the name why so my dear friends we see how we were created in the likeness and image of god we were created with dignity that is highly to be esteemed in accordance with god's image my dear friends and that is why even saint augustine says when we were baptized we are not only born as christians but even christ is born in us and god has called us by name and that is why my dear friends we have also the name and which lives and we need to protect the name of our own and the name of the other and now when i say are you pro life person if i ask it depends how you can preserve the name of the other and how do we save affirm the name of the other my dear friends and today the challenge to you and to me when jesus lord is inviting us to the fullness of life we should understand it is my responsibility to hold the name of the other my dear friends at home it starts with the family with husband and wives and with the children you need to protect the other even at times when you feel difficult to live with each other you have to protect and safeguard the name of the other when we spoil the name of the person we actually 
offend the person seriously as jesus himself is telling it is equal to the murder and when we speak of abortion and killing of life it is serious offense my dear friends but even before that when a person speaks badly of the person it is also equal to murder if we cannot do that if we cannot overcome in spoiling the other's name we would be surely not a pro life persons we would not value the life in its fullness and therefore my dear friends it starts here i would value the other more than me look at juda he says looking at tamar she is far better than me what a esteem she, he gives to the daughter in law and if if we see that humility is before god and gentleness is before men and we see in the power test where how to test one is humble before god we see the scale to measure our humility is how we are gentle towards our brethren and that is how here also there is a, an easy way to find out whether we are life oriented persons giving importance values to the life of the person can be easily identified if situation comes where we would call preserve the life or we would destroy the life the test is here my dear friends if i am very sensible to preserve the name of the other at all times then surely i am going to be a pro life person and you also would be pro life person if you are caring for the name of the other and also for the life of the other in body soul and in the name and by name we were called and therefore we were created in the image and likeness of god my dear friends if we are pro life persons then we are going to preserve the name that is the identity as we are in god's image glory to jesus ave maria